Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Roan. Israel is pushing further into northern Gaza as it continues its ground offensive. Tanks have briefly cut an evacuation route to the south. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejecting calls for a ceasefire, though, saying that would be surrendering to terrorism. Just as the United States would not agree to a ceasefire after the bombing of Pearl Harbor or after the terrorist attack of 9-11. Israel will not agree to a cessation of hostilities with Hamas after the horrific attacks of October 7th. It comes as Israel's military claims a soldier being held by Hamas has been rescued in an overnight ground operation. FIFA has banned the former head of the Spanish Football Association from all football-related activities for three years over that World Cup kiss. It follows a non-consensual kiss he gave player Jenny Hermoso after Spain took out the final. The disciplinary committee finding he breached the FIFA code. Victorian winemakers have welcomed a decision to walk away from a free trade deal with the European Union, the EU wanting to restrict them from using the term Prosecco despite it being recognised as a grape variety. Winemaker Catherine Brown says that could have had a big impact on the industry here. One of those big cons was about these geographical indicators which included Prosecco, um, included dairy names such as Feta and they really dug their heels in so we're absolutely proud that that's the way that it's turned out. A federal judge has reimposed a gag order on Donald Trump for his 2020 election interference case. It follows the former president's recent comments on social media. He was fined 10 grand just last week for breaching a gag order in his civil fraud trial in New York. And we are being urged to get behind Movember this year to raise money and awareness for men's mental health. It's the 20th anniversary of the movement this year. Movember's Sam Gledhill says over 1,300 projects have been funded globally. So it's a movement that started with 30 blokes here in Australia in 2003 and so far has amassed the support of over 6 million moustaches all united by a commitment to help keep changing the face of men's health. Sport and entertainment is up next. In the women's big bash, the Sydney Thunder have gone down to the Hobart Hurricanes by 24 runs. Phoebe Litchfield, the best performing for the Thunder, with 68 from 42 deliveries. At the men's one-day World Cup, Afghanistan has beaten Sri Lanka by seven wickets. And another off-season retirement in the AFL with Port Adelaide's Scott Lyson announcing he is hanging up the boots. In entertainment news, David Beckham has earned a dinner invitation with the King after a reported falling out with Prince Harry. The monarch believed to be keen on signing Beckham Beckham as an ambassador for his Prince's Foundation charity. And Sarah Ferguson is the latest to pay tribute to the late Matthew Perry. The Duchess of York made a cameo appearance on Friends. In a social media post, she says she remembered being thrilled to meet the natural talent, comedian and brilliant actor. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.